615 right now. Good morning. Welcome back. Let's turn our attention right now to the Shoals area. Lots of businesses there finally being able to reopen their doors. Joining us now over the phone is Lauderdale County EMA Director George Graverand. George, good morning to you. Good morning. A lot of people happy to be back at work, especially on day two. Now, how did the reopening of a lot of those businesses and restaurants go for your area yesterday? Did you see any major issues? Just in, uh, in, in what little time I was able to get out yesterday, things seemed to be uh, going well. I did uh, speak with a number of, of people yesterday, and uh, just uh, good, good to see some activity back and some employees back at work at some of those businesses that have been closed. You mentioned something as well about more 911 calls that you're receiving right now. What kind of calls are you getting? You know, as, as we have more activity, we're getting more calls uh, that are out in the in the uh, uh, field area. Uh, you know, whereas we were were receiving a lot of uh, uh, calls at residences, that type of thing. So it's uh, trending a little a little more towards normal with regard to the content of the calls. So definitely you're able to see that Alabama is starting to reopen on a slow scale, but you are seeing us moving towards that business as, as usual, as close to normal as we can. Yes, and it's definitely a good, a good trend to watch. We, we've, we've got to uh, uh, use care and common sense, uh, social distancing and such, but we've got to get the uh, economy back, uh, back open. We, we certainly do. George, Huntsville Mayor Tommy Battle using two words, personal responsibility. Uh, how do you join that message in making sure that people really still are taking social distancing seriously? Because we've been through this thing, quarantine fatigue, still people are going through that. Now we're getting out more and more and, and talking to each other and being around each other. What's your message for the folks out there? Keeping your distance, uh, not, not being right on top of someone, uh, you know, in in, uh, in stores or anywhere out in the public, uh, taking that extra time to uh, to be sure that you're uh, washing your hands, sanitizing your hands, uh, just using a lot of common sense uh, w with regard to respect for others when you're, uh, uh, you know, when, when you're out about in public. A lot of this with the more integration, those restrictions being eased, comes the likelihood of more cases. It's something that health leaders say, yes, it is going to happen. How do testing kits and PPE uh, supplies look for your area? Are you going to be able to sustain or to be able to treat a possible influx in cases out there? We stay in touch with the medical side on a daily basis uh, as far as the PPE levels for the response agencies. We're, we're in good shape on that. And also, uh, uh, contingency moving forward, uh, should, uh, should we see uh, a more sharp rise in, in the cases? Uh, we know we've got an increase in testing going on, but unfortunately, we've had a, an increase in reported positives going on as well. That's uh, very concerning. And so, so, but you do have enough supplies and everything to handle that, correct? Yes, we've been extremely diligent at uh, getting uh, supplies in. We've uh, Use some non-traditional suppliers, non-traditional sources, but we've been successful to this point in, uh, in in obtaining the necessary PPE for the response agencies. We've got a great group of response agencies over here. We've just got to make sure they can work safe. They've got the skills. We've just got to make sure they have the material that they need to work safe. All right, George Graber and Lauderdale County EMA Director. Thank you so much for your insight. We always enjoy talking with you. Anytime. Enjoyed, enjoyed talking with you all you this bet. morning. Thanks, Thank George. You. 619 right now.